Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Peep Squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top. So please become a part of Notification Squad. Peep Squad, hit that notification bell, baby. And know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Tamar Braxton. She says she could let another day go by without her addressing the situation with David because people are out here talking negative about David, saying this about David. We TV's dropping all these reports talking about he's controlling, he's out of pocket. And he basically wants to be a store. And he wanted to be on Tamar Get Your Life so he can, you know, start his career and be an advisor to the stars and to celebrities too as well. Tamar said, uh-uh, don't you even go there. If David want to speak on me, he can speak on me because he's not just my man. He's not just my partner. He's not just my lover. He's more than that. He is my fiance. And we've been engaged before all this stuff done hit the wall. So let's check out Tamar letting us know that she has been engaged to David. And, you know, she's letting the world know, even though this video is old, but she did say, I do. So they are engaged and they've been engaged for a minute, for a while. It's just that she didn't put it out there like that. So my love, where are we? How about we do a toast? A beautiful towel. Two different drinks with the same color. So what? We're in Santa Barbara. We just had the most amazing engagement. <laughs> so we're celebrating. Very nice and quiet. We're having the best time in the world. Yes, the best time. To the best times. So there you have it. You have Tamar. She is defending her man. And basically, she's letting us know he's just he's more than just her man. He's more than just her soulmate. He is her fiance. They are engaged. And they've been engaged for a while. So basically, she said she could not let another day go by. She could not let another day go by without basically letting the world know who David is and how grateful she is for David, too, as well. I was like, go ahead, tell your bit, tell your thing, tell your business, tell it how it is. So basically, Tamar. Tamar, she said, this is going to be the last time I'm going to log off. But she goes, I could not let one day go by. I could not let another moment go by without acknowledging David and basically saying, thank you. I am so grateful that you was at home and you saved my life. And you saw my life as body and you found me. The way that you found me, that couldn't have been easy. But that people coming for you and saying all this crazy stuff about you, calling you every name out the book, calling you African, calling you this, calling calling you that that ain't true because this man done saved my life and basically she want to publicly thank david and she basically she said he is the love of her life and she is so grateful to have him in her life and also to have him there to find her to make sure that she's here to actually be on instagram and give a statement to as well because it could have ended differently it could have been differently so therefore tamar then came out the woodworks and she's swinging and she's banging for her man david and she don't care what we tv say what the people say and how negative they are and they can call david every name in a book and they can deflect and act like she haven't been speaking the truth and say the problem has always been we tv we tv is the problem the contract is the problem the separation of my family is the problem the way that they pay me pennies and made millions off of me too as well. They have no labor laws too as well. You have no rights to what you say and what you do and you have no control of a project that is basically about you. Your DACA series. So basically she said it ain't political. Take that out the window. David is my heart. David is my life. And basically she loves David and that's her man and that's just gonna be the situation and people better get it together because they got the situation wrong. They don't got it right. And you can say whatever you want to say about David, but David is her man. David was there for her. David helped her. David listened to her when she cried. David has held her. He has hugged her. He has kissed her. He's been around since when nobody else was around. He's the only one that is around. He's the only one that's around that's still here. So basically, she's saying David is her support team. David is everything to her. She didn't mention her mother. She didn't mention her sisters. She didn't mention anybody because they haven't really, the media and the public and we TV hasn't really came for the family but people have been coming for david so basically tamar has to get up off of it and get on instagram and let us know that she loves david and he's still here and she's going to make him number one just like she's making logan number one i don't know if she has seen logan has logan been to the house or whatever the case may be but when she went to the hospital after that 911 incident you know that happened on july 16th you know logan was staying with his father you know this 
So, but basically, she, Tamar's letting us know that, you know, um, David is her rock. David is everything to her, point blank, period. She goes, this is an old video, but I did say yes. And she said she could not imagine a life without David. And she said, thank God for sending me an angel. Thank God that David done came into the picture. I was like, Lord, have mercy. She's out here swinging and banging for her, man. I guess it is what it is. I guess we won't really know, you know, anything else but what Tamar tells us. If she says that's her man and that's her fiance and she's in love and he has her back and he supported her and he can get and he's been getting her through these tough situations these contract negotiation and also he was there to pick up the phone and dial 911 to rescue her and save her life baby it is what it is so therefore if he's if if he is her fiance and she said that they've been engaged he has the right to say and speak like he want to speak so if something was troubling him he can get out here and swang and bang because they're not just dating they are engaged, baby. Who knows? They probably ought to already went to Vegas and said, I do, baby. So Tamar basically is just letting it be known that her and, you know, David are together. And she has support, too, as well. People are coming out supporting her and having her back with the situation, too, as well. We have Tina. We have Lyrica. You know, they came out to support and let Tamar know, oh, we understand you. We understand what you're saying. So, basically, you know, she don't want people to get the wrong idea about David. David, that he is some type of, you know, controlling person. That she goes, he ain't controlling. He's my rock. And she's tired of these rumors calling him this African man, this African man, this is African man. Now and Blase in the third and she wants y'all to know that she is here to win with David and David is her number two baby so you guys tell me what you think peace